everyone, today I have decided to share with you some books that I think are perfect for if you want a really cosy reading experience. So I have a list of five books on my list today and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. So we're going to start with a really obvious one and that is of course Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or to be honest any of the Harry Potter series. If you want to binge read the Harry Potter series, go for it, it's perfect. But The Philosopher's Stone is of course the first book in the series and this just has the perfect magic system and Hogwarts is the most coziest place, it just makes you feel really at home and because it makes you feel really at home when you're sitting at home reading it, it's just perfect for being curled up in a blanket in front of the fire and it's even more perfect if it's raining outside. If it's raining outside and you're reading this book, you're in for a good reading experience because it is brilliant for that. It's also full of characters that you'll absolutely fall in love with as well and because of that you get very attached and you do start to feel every emotion going. It is just the perfect read. The next book I have is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien and this is of course very well known, I'm sure you all know what The Hobbit is about. It's full of mythical creatures, lots of action and excitement and these characters go on a quest to defeat Smog, who is a big dragon. And this is to claim back the land that he has completely taken over. So it is just the best read. It is so good. I think fantasy reads at this time of year are brilliant. It's such a good time to read fantasy. And just to make it even better, these characters are so addictive to read about. By the end, you have probably cried at least twice and right at the end you will probably cry a whole lot more. It is so emotional, there is one paragraph in this quite near the end that had me crying my eyes out. I promise you it is not a disappointment, you will get incredible emotions for these characters. It is one of my favourite books and I just love it. So yeah, definite one to read in front of the fire with a nice warm drink. It is just perfect for this time of year. Another book I have here is Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher and this is cosy in a different kind of sense. This is about Sophie who works in a little coffee shop and in that coffee shop she serves customers. She likes to talk to all the customers, a lot of them are regulars and she loves to talk to all of them. And the locations in this story are just so, so cosy. You've got the sort of countryside locations, obviously the coffee shop itself. Coffee shops are brilliant places to read about at this time of year. Because all you want at this time of year is a nice hot drink and to curl up in a nice warm blanket. And this read, because of the coffee shop and because of the locations being in the middle of the countryside, there's not a lot of people. It's quite quiet and tranquil and it is just lovely. I also thought in this story the character development is really, really good. You get to know the characters at a really good place and you do get quite emotionally attached to them in this story as well. I think at this time of year getting emotionally attached to characters is one of the things to look for. Because if you are going to get emotional... It's probably best you do it in a nice quiet spot in your house wrapped up in a blanket. That's my opinion anyway. It's a bit random. But let me know if you agree because that is how I feel. And the next book I have is a book I haven't read for a while but I do remember it being really really cosy and again the locations are a major reason why it's cosy in this story. And this book is Little Beach Street Bakery by Jenny Colgan. Now I read this I think it was two years ago and this is about a girl called Polly and she opens her own little bakery. Again, another perfect location for this time of year. Coffee shops and bakeries, you couldn't get any better. And it's not just about that though, because it's also about Polly trying to find herself and where she wants to be and how she can become successful. And you get a real sense of family sort of aspects in this story as well without people actually being related because the neighbours of Polly just help her out so much and they just stick together and really support each other and I think that's a really really nice element to this story. So yeah, that is my next book on this list for Cozy Reads, I definitely recommend it. And the final book I have on this list is On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher and this is about Evie Snow who dies in her sleep at the age of 82 and she then has to go and try and find her own private heaven because the doors are locked to this heaven and she needs to discover why. So she has to contact her family and friends, obviously she isn't alive so this needs to be worked out how it can be done and we just follow Evie trying to discover how that can be done. As well as this, and this is why for me it makes it the most cosy read, it has a perfect romance in it. 
It is the best romance I have read in a long time. I absolutely adore the characters in this book and I highly recommend it if you want a good romance story. It is very emotional, it will probably make you feel every emotion under the sun again, but this is an amazing read if you want a cosy reading experience. So I definitely recommend this story. So that is it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know any recommendations that you have for cosy reads as I would love to know. This is a perfect time to read at this time of year. Even though I'm kind of failing this month with reading because I've been so busy, I've had a few changes in my life, lots of different things have been going on, so I've been a bit slow reading this month, but hopefully I'll get a little bit more read and I'll be able to give you a reasonable wrap up at the end of the month. But yeah, if you have any recommendations then let me know, I would definitely love to know. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as always. All my social media links are in the description below, so you can go check any of those out. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye!